Hey everyone, for this video I'm going to be talking about the circuit rotation and more specifically the, what resources to use and how to study and hopefully how to honor. So a little bit of background information of where I came from going into the surgery rotation. It was my third rotation after OBGYN and pediatrics. I had it for only six weeks um, and it was a pretty busy service in that I had trauma call, ER call, getting up at five, going home at midnight lots of time, but I still had time to study. I think it's important to mention that I did not have this before my internal medicine exam um, or my internal medicine rotation and you're going to hear a lot of people say that the surgery shelf is like a medicine shelf and it's true to a certain point in that the surgery shelf isn't so much about anatomy and procedures, it's more so about um, pre-op, post-op management and how to work with a proper patient. So let's get right into talking about what resources I used, Virgilio's, Pretest, UWorld, Online Meded, Pistanas, and the NDME Clinical uh, Mastery Series. The first and most important textbook to talk about is Virgilio's or Virgilio's. Um, it's 60 pages. It's actually written in a, in a pretty unique fashion in that it's all question answer format. Um, I personally lo loved it because it was really easy to make flashcards with it. Just take the question and put the answer down. Um, didn't have to think too much about it and then I would be able to review it with the flashcards. It's the backbone to the surgery rotation, at least for me. Um, I know that this book is relatively new. It's only, I think, we were the second class to use it but I'm pretty sure it's the gold standard in terms of studying for the shelf exam right now. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing it from end to end, reading it just like a textbook. What I did was I would do UWorld, I would do NBMEs, I would do questions, and when a certain topic comes up, I would read that chapter in Virgilio's. So what I did was I made a photocopy of the Virgilio's table of contents, and every time I read a chapter, I would check it off, um, and by the end, I made sure that I had read through all 60 chapters. So. Next is our old friend, UWorld. It's just as great as every other rotation and studying for step one. Um, great explanations. If you get a question wrong or if you get a question right, watch the online meta, read the Virgilio's chapters, check it off on your table of contents, um, and move on. If you have time, I actually strongly recommend doing the GI section of the internal medicine UWorld um, to get additional questions. I think there was about 80 questions and they're actually extremely relevant to the sur survey shelf. So if you have time, Definitely check it out, um, at least do a couple of blocks and see how we feel. Following UWorld, I did the NBME Clinical Mastery Series. Um, these are NBME sanctioned practice exams. They're $20 a piece. I actually did all four because I wanted to do really well in the surgery examination. I think these are vital to doing well. Um, I think I had five or seven repeat questions on the shelf exam. Um, I kind of treated it like UWorld. I would read up on up to date and Virgilio's and watch online metas on questions I got wrong um, and did a cram sheet of questions that I should look at the day before the actual shelf exam and scored me some few points. So Pistanas is an interesting resource to use. Um, it's by Kaplan, so not so much a textbook rather than a booklet you can carry out around in your white coat. Um, I can see why it was a gold standard in years prior. Um, they have some high yield points, but a lot of it is very anatomy heavy, which wasn't really tested inside the shelf exam, and I actually don't recommend it too much. If you have time, it's something to bring around clinic and just flip through, but it's definitely not as high yield as Virgilio's, which since Virgilio's came out, I think everyone's kind of jumping shit from Pistanas to Virgilio's because it's, Virgilio's is just much more thorough, um, but you can check out Pistanas, it's not that bad a resource. So the next resource to talk about is pretest. It's 500 questions. I've actually done the pretest series for every single rotation, not because I was planning on it. It's more so because I had the time to do it. Um, I think it was pretty useful in terms of it would help me identify the parts that I was weak at. If I get a question wrong by week five or six, I should be reading up on that. So I would get a question wrong, read on Virgilio's, watch some online meta, um, and really buffer that weak point. So last and least is the Virgilio's questions. So at the end of that fantastic textbook is 200 questions of just measly yield questions that aren't that great. Um, they're very anatomy heavy and I remember doing them and saying to myself, there's no way they're going to be asking this on the shelf exam. I only did it because I had the time, but looking back on it, I would rather have spent more time re-watching online meta videos or doing pretests again or UWorld or NBME or anything else. Um, if you're curious, check it out. If not, you'll be fine. Just some side notes, um, I did use online meta videos. I think it's very, very strong for uh, the surgery sh shelf exam. 
and I did read Cooked Acute Abdomen, not so much for the shelf exam, but more to help me think like a surgeon and um, perform well clinically and be able to answer some more pimp questions from my surgeon, but you don't need it to study for your shelf exam, you'll be fine without it. Alright, and that's it. So just to summarize, we have Virgilio's is the backbone of the surgery shelf exam. Make sure you know it in and out, read it throughout your whole rotation. Um, for questions, I did UWorld, the NBME Clinical Mastery Series, and pre-test. I also did the Virgilio's questions in the back, which aren't that great. You don't have to do it. Um, and basically, all in all, know Virgilio's really well, and you will be rewarded quite nicely. So um, feel free to ask me any questions, and bye.